I was not happy. It's not the gift Leslie Stockard wanted right before the new year. Having to ask my customers to pay over 12% in sales tax is not a good thing. She's owned the classic cookie in a spot for the past 21 years. This community improvement district or CID now adds a 1% sales tax and it would be just for the Romanelli shops on the southwest corner of Warnell and Gregory Boulevard. And that 1% will sit on top of an already existing CID and a half percent sales tax. The fact that it was for a personal, even though he's my landlord and I really like him, um, that didn't make me feel very happy. To show you how the taxes add up, we went to a price chopper in Brookside and got peanut butter, soup, and bread. Then we headed over to the price chopper at 85th and Warnell in Waldo where there's two CIDs and picked up the same items. Taking a look at the two different receipts we got from the grocery stores, the one here in Brookside, the total came out to 1079, which is a sales tax rate of 6.1%. And then over at the price shopper in Waldo, it came out to 1112, which is a sales tax rate of about 7.13%. It's an added tax many don't want to pay. Basically looking at a private developer who is going to tax people. They're going to collect that tax money. They're not going to have to say what they do with that tax money. During a city council meeting in October, the owner said they needed the money to help pay for renovations as the previous owners neglected some major problems to the building. But now this is a done deal. Stoggard hopes to at least benefit from it. As long as we can get some improvements out of it, you know, I'll be happy with that.